All right, are you moviegoers out there? Welcome back to the Yendi Radio Arcade. And any sort of copyright strikes, lawsuits, or whatever you have for Maestro playing that song in the beginning of the Indie Radio Arcade, send to his house. I'll give you the address and the email later. Send it to him, not to me. I'm the guy who hosts the show. He's the guy on the synthesizer playing those songs. But the reason why he played that song and the reason why this episode is so special, folks, it's all revolved around the movie we have up today for the 3MR. And what movie do we have up on the plate for this week, folks? None other than the classic movie from 1985. None other than Back to the Future. Probably one of my most favorite movies of all time. And the meat and potatoes of this said film is that a young Marty McFly going to school just doing his everyday life decided to help out his friend Doc Brown who found a new form of time travel only during the experiment for the time travel to go wrong and for Marty McFly to get sent back to the 1950s to try to make everything right as rain once again. And that was the best meat and potatoes we could give for this movie, folks, without, you know, revealing anything for this said film. Because, let's just say, you have to see this movie for yourself because it's absolutely awesome. And why is this movie awesome, folks? Well, for starters, the music, as you obviously heard from the maestro that was played earlier, is just the tip of the iceberg of some of the awesome music you can hear during this said film that has not only been remade, redone, and even used during the opener of one certain Irish wrestling fan group known as OSW Review, who I do believe used one of the musical scores to actually open up one of their segments for their reviews, which is not half bad. And along with that, folks, you also have music from Chuck Berry with his song Johnny Be Good, and even probably one of my most favorite groups of all time, Huey Lewis and the News, with not only their song The Power of Love, but of course, the hit song of Back in Time that was made for this said movie. And always had me believing that Michael J. Fox, who was Marty McFly in this said film, was playing the guitar on that part. And the reason why I say that, folks, is because we'll explain it later, because I'm going all over the pace with this movie because I'm absolutely overjoyed of how cool it is. And another reason why it's so cool, folks, is because look at the lineup of people who are in this movie. Not only you have Michael J. Fox, who went on to do Spin City after this said film, but you have Christopher Lloyd, Christopher Lloyd, the man who was not only Doc Brown in this said film, but also was Uncle Fester in the Addams Family, was the guy in Dennis the Menace, and also played the judge in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and was also featured in another classic movie of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. So the pedigree of this man alone is the reason why I love this film so much. And not to mention because of a little incident one Halloween where I ran into somebody who looked like Doc Brown with Marty McFly and even a DeLorean DMC-12 all saying, Marty, we gotta go back in time, Marty! (laughs) Which was absolutely hilarious and magical at the same time. And another thing that I loved about this movie, besides, you know, Lee Thompson and Thomas Elf Wilson, who was a part of this said film, and according to the maestro, it's Thomas F. Wilson. Right. Either way, besides all the characters who were involved in this film, the fact of how cool this movie made a DeLorean DMC-12 with the wing gold doors, even though that this car was not built for speed, Still an awesome car that went along with this awesome movie. And one of my favorite scenes, know what, scratch that, we're gonna add three favorite scenes to this movie. 
My first favorite scene is, of course, when Doc Brown finally figures out the formula of the 1.21 gigawatts he needs to make the DeLorean DMC-12 into a time machine, where he jumps out of the chair going, 1.21 gigawatts! which was always my favorite line. Also, besides that one, the one where McFly in his room would turn up the amplifier on his guitar and try to play one of the loudest noises he can that would blast them back and explode the speakers for him to say, cool. And the last scene that I love so much about this film has to be neither the part where they say, we don't need any roads, or the part where Marty McFly rocks out to the classic song of Johnny Be Good, where his brother would end up getting on the phone and the brother of Chuck Berry, Marvin Berry, would say, hey, you're looking for a new sound? Well, listen to this. And of course, it would say that Marty was the one who helped Chuck Berry come out with the song Johnny Be Good, but yeah. Still an awesome moment and definitely rest in peace Chuck Berry with your awesome musical style. And oh, before we forget that point we pointed out about Michael J. Fox and the whole guitar playing, we always believe that Michael J. Fox did do the guitar part for Johnny B. Good because he actually played Johnny B. Good one year for a charity event, I do believe. So yeah he can really rock out on that guitar. And seeing the fact that we don't know how to review movies along the lines of Siskel and Ebert or any of those other reviewers that you know out there, folks, we say this. If you want to watch a classic time-traveling movie that involves a man who's been in more classic movies in my childhood than I can imagine, alongside co-starring with a man who knows how to play the guitar better than nobody else can, and is also a certified time-traveler with one of the coolest jackets you'll ever see, or vest according to what the maestro said, all while being called a butthead from Biff, at a moment's notice, then I recommend you go out there and watch that flick. And trust me folks, I think this goes along the lines of one of those thousand movies you have to see before you die. This is definitely one of them, so when I say watch that flick, I definitely mean it with this one. And with that said, folks, we might as well head back to music, and when we return, we'll be back with more of the Indie Radio Arcade, right after a word from our sponsors. So stay tuned. 